Hi, boys and girls. This is day two of Moonwalkers. Or should I just say Moonwalk? All right, we're going to deal with the vocabulary strategy for synonyms. And whenever we're figuring out synonyms, we try to use context clues. Follow along with me as I read to you what's on the screen. Sometimes a synonym can be a clue to help you figure out the meaning of a word. Look at the sentence. The tiny spider was so minuscule, I almost stepped on it. You can use the synonym tiny to help you figure out the meaning of minuscule. Look at number one. Use what you know about synonyms to complete this analogy with a word from words to know. Marched is to hike as tricked is to blank. Do you know what it is, boys and girls? It is trudged, trudged, tramped, trudged. Good job. Number two, when you read a word you don't know, read the words and sentences around it. Look for a synonym. Number three, if you find a synonym, try using it in place of the familiar word. Then see if it even makes sense, boys and girls. Awesome job. Let's take a look at Gone to the Moon. People have long dreamed of going to the moon. Maybe this is because the moon circles so close by. No other thing in space is closer to Earth. How could we not conquer this small thing, this runt? All right, boys and girls, look at the word runt. In this sentence, it's talking about a small thing. So the context clues help us know that runt means something that is really small. Continuing reading. When the machine age arrived, the moon still taunted us. I am so close, it teased. Why don't you come on up? In 1969, three people did, summoning all our knowledge and technology. We sent them into space and guided them to the moon. They had to call on all their bravery to blast off into the unknown. Here we have taunted, boys and girls. Taunted means to mock something or to reproach something. You keep bothering it, messing with it, taunting. Sometimes it can be bullying. And then right here we have summoning. When we're summoning something, we're rousing it. We're, we're calling it to us. We're... um. We're stirring it to action. Absolutely. Imagine how their hearts raced as the moon loomed before them. Look at loom, boys and girls. That's another one of our vocabulary words. Loomed means um, it appeared dimly or vaguely as a large, threatening shape. Imagine they're all as two of them stepped where no person had ever set foot. They saw craters and reels, a narrow valley that looks like a trench. All right, boys and girls, so the reel that we're talking about here is just a narrow valley, a narrow ditch, just like this trench. Those words can kind of be used interchangeably, so make sure you learn your words. With every step, they leaped rather than trudged. That means that they leaped. They couldn't just walk. They couldn't just be weary with it. They, they leaped because um, there's no gravity. On Earth, because of gravity, we plod along. It was easy to pick up moon rocks under whose weight, under whose weight they would have have staggered and stumbled on earth. Was it worth it to go to the moon? Yes. Thank you for this lesson, boys and girls. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.